previously on Space Week. And eventually, I'll be asleep and in here for 100 years. Now I'm in the cryo chamber. It's time to get into position. Logan's gonna close the glass and casing and activate the cryo fusion. I'll see you guys in 100 years. I guess uh, now I just gotta wait 100 years. What should I do? This is pretty fun. I guess I'll just monitor the ship and make sure everything's okay. In the meantime, guys, I guess I'm just gonna keep practicing my bottle flips. I've been in this ship for a hundred years. I don't know how much longer I can take. I just, I don't even know what's going on half the time. Wait. The cryo chamber's smoking. Is he waking up? Jake, is that you? Jake? Go <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, man. Oh my god, water. Water, I need water. I need water. <coughs> you grow a beard? What happened? It's been a hundred years. Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's Papa Jake here from Team Biffany and we are back with a brand new video and today we are doing our 24 hour spaceship mission. We're traveling to a new planet. We're using our already built massive international space station as well as our rocket and we are gonna be going a hundred light years that way, up that way. So we're gonna be surviving the challenge in both the actual space vessel that we're building that's gonna land on the planet as well as the international space station. This has to be able to go from the space station, travel down to the planet and then return to the space station all in one piece by the way guys you have been absolutely savage with smashing that like button you guys have been absolutely insane we've got over a hundred thousand likes on every single one of these videos and if you guys like these continuation videos where every day we add on to the box for a build then smack that like button down below let's try and get a hundred thousand likes on this video as well so we can keep doing these awesome vids before we start building I want to show you guys the space station thus far in case you haven't seen it it's had to last outside and it's looking pretty awesome right now it's all offline so we're gonna turn all the power systems on Online to make sure this thing still works as you guys can see this actual compartment here is the spacecraft itself so this is kind of detached from the actual space station up here is our oxygen system so let's turn on the oxygen make sure that's working awesome oxygen's working and now for the lighting BAM! There we go! The spacecraft lighting is on and working, everything's good, life support systems are good. Now let's go check on the International Space Station. For the purpose of this, the airlock is open, but this is where we come in, depressurize, and make sure everything's safe before entering into the space station itself. We've got our pressure lock here. Wow! That is looking sick! Check that out, guys. All the lights are online. This is where we're partly going to be living for the 24 hours. It's also what we're gonna be using as our kind of main operations center for traveling down to the planet and explore it. So now that we know everything is working inside, it's time to start building the brand new aircraft as well as the new airlock. So we're gonna start with the airlock first. It's gonna be a tunnel that goes from here all the way up here and attaches to the spacecraft here. It should be pretty awesome. It's gonna be like a mix of a floating box fort with our spaceship, with the International Space Station. It's gonna be crazy. This is one of the biggest builds we've ever done. So let's start building. We've got these box fort tunnels that are kind of sticking out here. So check it out, we've been working on this for a while now and we have the secondary airlock made. That's gonna attach to the spacecraft that we're building and of course this attaches to a tunnel all the way back to the main airlock. Now we have a lot of stuff to do inside like lighting and electricity but before we do that I think we're gonna start working on our spacecraft that we're gonna use to travel down to the planet. We're gonna start working on that now and then we'll put it all together and deck the insides out to make them livable for our 24 hour challenge. We're actually gonna use a floating box fort style build. We need the floaty and then we gotta start building the floating box fort which is also gonna be our spaceship. Three, two, one. Awesome, there we go. Let's start building.
Now, once we get the roof done, we have to work on the latching system, which is probably gonna be the hardest part. So check it out, we just finished building the floating box forward slash, our spaceship that we're gonna use to go to the planet, and it is looking awesome. Look at that. She's looking good, Jake. Dude, it is, it's looking sick, and the inside is great, it's solid, it's sturdy. We're gonna put in the pool, lock it to the International Space Station, and then it's ready to be used as our spacecraft. Gosh, it's been a hundred years. I've been in this thing for so long, and you're so old now. Have we reached the planet yet? Dude, I honestly don't know. Have you been maintaining the ship for this past time? All I've been doing is flipping the bottle, man. I've just been flipping that bottle. Every time. Every time, Jake. I flip the bottle every time. That has nothing to do with our mission, Logan. We had a specific mission to get to this planet and figure out where we are. You've left the computer in a kernel panic mode for this long? I honestly don't know what that means. Life support systems are online. Oxygen's online, water's online. Well, at least you didn't get us killed in a hundred years. Let me cycle the life support system, make sure everything's working. Last thing I knew you were putting me in there and I woke up and you have a beard. Okay, now that we know the space station's online and everything's set, I gotta figure out exactly where we are in the solar system. All these years, we finally reached her. The space station came equipped with a landing pod. It's not much, basically a mediocre spaceship, but it'll get us down there. Our mission was simple. We had to get to the planet and collect soil samples at any means necessary. If this planet has life on it or anything that shows that it could have had life, we gotta collect it and bring it back to Houston. Jake, I haven't heard from Houston in over 50 years. Radio comms have been down for 50 years? All I've had is me and my bottle. Radio systems are offline due to a simple error. It's in the computer itself. I can rewire it, but... There's also a good chance that we're losing it from the meteor field. Houston's still there and they're still counting us to do this mission. We're gonna gear up with our EVA equipment, get into the spacecraft, and depart down to the surface. Before we do that, buddy, you, uh, you gotta shave, man. Kinda like it. 12 seconds later. How do I look? Much better. This is your entire life support system. Everything on it will surround you in a protective force field. Change into some comfy clothing and get this on. You'll be protected from the outside elements as long as you keep this safe. It also has a mic to communicate. You'll need oxygen pack. This acts as a laser cutter for collecting samples. And worst case, an alien blaster. We're gonna have to take turns going through the airlock. Once we're in, we'll depressurize and get into the space vessel. Right now, there's no atmosphere in the space vessel, so hopefully if everything pressurizes, I mean, it's been 100 years, we'll be able to take it down to the planet. We're inside the airlock now. As you guys can see, we have the space station on this side. We have our old spaceship on this side and the landing module, which is in here, which will take us down to the planet. Three, two, one, pressurizing. The module is now pressurized. We can open the door and enter it. Oh, here we go, guys. Going through the tunnel. It's a bit of a tight squeeze. This is an older model, so they don't have all the new features that the modern spacecraft has. Should just be a little bit farther up here. This old airlock chamber is very, very cramped. I'm gonna try and get my EVA equipment up ahead. All right, guys, made it up to the landing pods. Uh, launch bay. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but as you guys can see, here it is. This is the launch bay. This section itself is still connected to the space station, but through this door here is the actual pod. Let's check it out. The launch pod is good. Lighting systems are online. We've got a first aid kit over here. Pressurizing the cabin. We've got about a 15 minute delay before we get down there. Logan, I'm gonna need you on the comms to keep working. Try to get in contact with Houston. Maybe the spacecraft will have better luck. I'm just getting static. Jeez. Oh, Alright. Well, we shouldn't be there in too long. I don't know if Houston's out there, but if they are, I'm gonna relay the last message as we can. Houston Bravo Whiskey 2 Niner, this is Papa Jake over. We are departing to the planet. ETA is five minutes over. We're collecting soil samples on the planet. Date is unknown. Alright, I relayed the last radio message. Get your EVA equipment on. Entering into the atmosphere, it's a little bit thicker than I thought. All right, get your mask on. Pressure's still holding in the cabin. Life support systems are online. All right, it's time to do the mission. Depressurize, get your mask on. Depressurize in the cabin. Can you hear me on the comms? Logan, you okay? Yeah, Jake, I'm okay. Wind took me right out of that thing. Okay, great. Listen to me on the comms. I'm gonna make my way across the surface of the lake bed here. Found something. Looks like a rock of some sort. I'm gonna make my way over to this mountain ledge here. 
think I might be able to laser cut some of these samples. Perfect. Looks like we have enough. Let's make our way back to the ship. Sounds good. Meet you there. Alright, I can see the ship approaching. Start the docking simulation now. Getting closer. A little to the left, a little to the right. Perfect, bring her in, locked. Good job, let's get back inside. Alright guys, we just got back into the space station. We were able to collect soil samples from down on the planet. It seems like the planet was made of some sort of like watery atmosphere. Uh, unfortunately, we had an issue with the pressurizer when we were trying to exit. Logan got blown out, but he was okay, so we're all good. But we're going to eat before we get to bed, and if everything goes as planned, tomorrow we'll be able to turn around and head back to Earth. In our cabin here, looks like our food has been uh, pretty well stored. We've got a bunch of MREs. Uh, we got some breakfast MREs as well as some lunch MREs for tomorrow, but we're trying to preserve those as best as possible. So for tonight, we're going to eat the last of our space food. This is freeze-dried astronaut ice cream. We're also going to let the soil samples analyze overnight, so we should have some more information. Um, we did have some issues with the power fluctuating in the space shuttle itself, so we've been having some power issues. I'm not anticipating anything going wrong, but we got to be on high alert tonight. Oh, nice. It, it always amazes me how cool this is, guys. It's literally freeze-dried, <laughs> and it looks exactly like ice cream, but Logan, tap it. It's hard. It's solid and crunchy. It's time to get our beds ready. We don't have a lot of room in the International Space Station. We gotta make use of all the room we can. I got the kitchen. Got our nice sleeping mat here. And for blankets, we got these. These are thermal blankets. It's what they use in space to keep everyone warm and they're gonna work for us in our 24 hour challenge. Not so often you get your blanket in a packet. Nice. Awesome. There we go guys, we got our heat blankets on. Last thing we gotta do is turn off the lights and go to bed. See you guys in the morning. Morgan! Morgan, get up! Morgan! Dude, what's going there's on? A, there's been a pressure leak in the system. Quickly get your helmet on! Quickly get your helmet on! There's a fire in the airlock! I'm trying to override it! The whole thing's in lockdown mode! Computers are offline! We're completely offline! We're gonna have to go back to the spaceship side of things! Let's go! <coughs> we got the emergency fire bear! Go, go, go! Jake, get go! Get in, get in, get in! Uh, close the airlock! We need to seal and cool and seal it! I have no idea what happened! We woke up and there's just smoke everywhere, the system alarm was going crazy. Something's wrong, we gotta go. Maybe it had something to do with the soil sample. Looks like oxygen levels are going down too. This isn't good. Pressurizing chamber. Pressurize it. All right, I'm gonna reroute the power and oxygen supplies only into this pod. No, we're bleeding, we're bleeding oxygen right now. We're in orange still. Looks like fire spread inside the space station itself. All right, I'm gonna close off all external airlock doors as well as all exhaust valves. I'm gonna reroute all the oxygen and gas supplies into this vessel. Jake, what about the soil samples? I can't just leave them here. I got them right here, Logan. Didn't leave them behind. We'll bring these things back to Houston. They're the only thing I could salvage from the space station. It looks like our power supply is down to 20%. We have a fluctuation in the actual lighting system itself. Power's on, getting ready for launch mode. Helmet's down. Detach from the space station. Main thrusters are on. Three, two, one. Ignition! This is a bumpy ride. Power cycling, but we should be okay. Come on, come on. Just gotta wait for the space station. And hold! There! Six hours later. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're not gonna have much power to get us home, but as long as the auction stays up and we siphon the food that we have on board. We should be home in a week or two. One week later. Guys, look where we are. We're back. We're back on Earth. It's solid ground. We did it. We successfully launched the mission. We went to the planet. We collected soil samples and we brought ourselves home. Even though we had a little bit of an issue, we were able to gather our resources, plan ahead, and make sure that we made it back safe and alive. And guys, I want to thank every single last one of you who checked out our series on Space Week. You guys have been absolutely savage with the likes. We've gotten over 100,000 likes on every Every single one of these videos it's crazy it's crazy we should keep going let's get a hundred thousand likes on this video and if you guys love these series if you guys love us doing these three-part series where we keep adding on keep building and creating a story then leave a suggestion for future videos down below also guys don't forget if you want to check out Papa Jake's very own box fort building kit you guys can get yours there'll be a link in the description down below as well as in the pinned comment grab yours today and start building your awesome adventure